Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Today we are going to start this course from the beginning So I hope and I pray for all of you that all of you get success in learning Arabic online in this course Before we start this course I want to ask a question to all of you My question is Why you want to learn Arabic online and I want all of you to write your answers in the comment your answers will help us in arranging and defining the course next time for the future students so I want all of you to write your answers in the comments now some people say that they want to learn Arabic to understand Quran and Hadith some say they want to learn Arabic because their partner is from an Arab country their husband or their wife is an Arab that's why they want to learn Arabic and some say that they want to travel to an Arab country and some say that they have a job because of their job they want to learn Arabic so I will divide them into categories first those who wants to learn Arabic because of its importance in Islam and second who wants to, uh, to learn Arabic because of their job or they want to travel to some Arab country or they have some other purposes so basically they want to learn spoken Arabic so let me tell you one thing that Arabic which is used in Quran and Hadith is little different from the one which is known as Arab spoken Arabic or Arabic dialects so in this course we will study the one which is in Quran and Hadith which is also known as Fusa Arabic and the other one which has many dialects like Egyptian dialects, Imarati dialects and so many which is known as spoken Arabic we are not going to study that Arabic in this course so this course is for those who want to learn Arabic because of its importance in Islam they want to learn Arabic to understand Quran and Hadith spoken Arabic is not the goal of this course so those who want to learn spoken Arabic this course will not benefit them but if they want to learn spoken Arabic they better contact this number and tell them that they you want a spoken Arabic so they will arrange a one-to-one -one online class for you for spoken Arabic because spoken Arabic is not possible in recorded lessons it is only very possible in live class so they will arrange a teacher for you but that teacher will take some fees that course will not be free so here we are going to study this Fusa Arabic and our target will be to understand Quran and Hadith so we will use an Arabic book to learn Arabic Fusa Arabic then we will use an Arabic grammar book in this course then we will use Quran basically our main goal is to understand Quran so we will use Quran in this class also to understand it then we will use hadith also because Quran and hadith are equally important in Islam to learn to understand Islam and Quran completely we need to understand hadith also so we will study hadith in this course inshallah also so basically we are going to study four books in this course so the name of first book is al arbiyatu baina yadik 
العربيه بين يديك this is the first book that we will start and we will study four books in this course and we will study all of them together then the next one is دروس اللغة العربية This is a basically a grammar book The main purpose of the second book is Arabic grammar Then the third one is Al-Quran Al-Kareem Then the fourth one is for Hadith so we all know that in Islam after Quran the second most noble book is Sahih al-Bukhari so we will study Sahih al-Bukhari in this one as well inshallah so these are the four book books that you are going to study in this course inshallah so our lecture will have two parts basically the duration of our lecture will be around 30 minutes but after 30 minutes we will give you an homework which normally takes 30 minutes as well so total you need one hour for each lesson so 30 minutes for lecture and 30 minutes for homework so total you need one hour for each lesson now what are the requirements for this course the main requirement is that you must be able to read Quran basic simple reading of Quran for example let me open this page for you so here you see a Quranic Surah take a good look of it if you can read like this so if you know the basic simple reading like Lam yakunil lazina kafaru min ahalil kitabi wal mushrikina so this is the basic simple reading that I have just read if you know the basic simple reading then you can proceed with us then this course will benefit you if you don't know the basic simple reading of Arabic then you need to take one month free reading course so for that you will whatsapp this number and you will tell them i don't know how to read uh, quran and i want one month basic simple reading course so in one month you will be able to read arabic fluently inshallah so after completing that course you can start this course again anytime you want second thing that this course will not benefit you if you don't do your homework homework is necessary for example some students may think that they will watch the lecture understand it and they don't do homework but those students will find this course very difficult after a one month so if you want to keep this course easy for you throughout this Arabic journey then you must do this homework with every lecture if you don't do your homework this course will not benefit you you will forget everything soon within few weeks and later on this course will become extremely difficult for you because I have seen many students who have done this that they watched the lecture but they did not do their homework so the later on the course become very difficult for them so you must do homework regularly otherwise this course will not benefit you at all now what do you need for the homework you need these two books if you search on internet 
you will find many websites which are selling this book online but first try to find these two books al arbiya to baina yani ek and roz sun loga til arbiya from your nearby bookshop or islamic bookshop these are two very famous book currently in these are the two most used arabic books for teaching arabic to non native speakers so i hope you will easily find it from your nearby shop because if you buy the book from nearby shop it will be around 50% less price as compared to online there are many website which are selling these two books you can buy it anyone from hers you can buy it from anywhere we also can deliver you these two books so, so again you can contact on whatsapp to get these two books because if you have these two books you can easily write homework on the book because these exercises are exercises in the books are designed for writing homework if you write them on your notebook it will take too much time so there are some students who can't buy book like they don't have money or some other issue those student again contact this number we will send them pdf and we will send them pdf then they can print these two books because i highly recommend you to have this book in paper form otherwise your homework will take too much time if you have these books then you will just write the answers on it and it will save you a lot of time so uh, either buy the books from nearby bookshop or buy from online or you can get it from us also or if you can't do that then download the book i can we can provide you the pdf you can contact us on our whatsapp number we will provide you the book download it print it then homework will become easy for you inshallah then the next two thing al quran al karim and sahih bukhari you don't need to buy any book just you need a notebook <coughs> or <coughs> if you have a laptop then it will be easy for you to write the homework but if you don't have laptop then you will have to do it on your notebook but it will take some more time so for quran kareem and sahih bukhari we recommend you to have some laptop it will become easy for you so this is the basic introduction that you need for this course now we will start our first lesson this is a basic simple introductory lesson i hope all of you will find it easy inshallah let me open the book for you so this book is currently used in more than 1200 institution around the globe this is currently the most widely used arabic book so its name is al arabiyatu bain yadik you can easily get it from any shop or online store and so al wahdatul ula al wahda mean unit al ula first al wahdatul ula first unit at tahiyatu greetings wa an attar of introduction greetings and introduction so basically in this unit of the book all chapters are related to these two things what are these two things how to greet someone in arabic and how to introduce someone in arabic these are basically the recordings of my previous classes that you can find on youtube easily by searching these name class for kulwa class for wafa like this this one class by jabin mubashira ki class these are in urdu languages and other are in english language okay al wahdatul ula first unit at tahiyatu wa ta'aruf greetings and introduction at dars ul awwal first lesson now i will explain this dialogue if you don't understand anything you can ask me in the comments or you can ask me on my whatsapp number as well it is up to you if you ask in comments it will be better for you you can ask me on whatsapp as well so al hawar ul awwal mean first dialogue al hawar mean dialogue al awwal mean first al hawar ul awwal first dialogue hamza unzur wasta me waid unzur mean look wasta me and listen waid and repeat he is asking you to look and listen and repeat 
سہیل خالد سیز السلام علیکم پیس بی اپون یو السلام مین پیس علیکم آن یو السلام علیکم پیس بی اپون یو خلیل ریپلائز وعلیکم السلام اینڈ پیس بی اپون یو ٹو وعلیکم السلام اینڈ پیس بی اپون یو ٹو خالد اسمی خالد اسمی مائی نیم خالد خالد اسمی مائی نیم از خالد مسموکا وٹ از یور نیم ما مین وٹ اسموکا یور نیم سو مسموکا وٹ از یور نیم سو ہے نوٹ اسمی مین مائی نیم اسموکا یور نیم خلیل ریپلائز اسمی خلیل مائی نیم از خلیل خالد کیف حالکا ہاؤ آر یو کیف آ مین ہاؤ حالکا یو کیف حالکا ہاؤ آر یو خلیل بخیرین و الحمدللہ آئی ایم فائن اینڈ تھینکس ٹو اللہ آلمٹی بخیرین مین آئی ایم فائن و الحمدللہ مین آل پریزز بلانگس ٹو اللہ اینڈ وی کین آلسو ٹرانسلیٹڈ ایز تھینکس ٹو اللہ و کیف حالکا انتا اینڈ ہاؤ آر یو ٹو خالد بخیر نیم الحمدللہ آئی ایم فائن اینڈ تھینکس ٹو اللہ سو ہیر یو نیڈ ٹو نو ڈیڈ اس می مین مائی نیم اس موکا یور نیم دین کا از یوز فار میل لانلی اینڈ انتا اگین از انتا از یوز اور اگین آف اونلی فار میل سو نو وی ویل لرن دا سیم تھنگ فار فیمیلز الحیوال الاول فرسٹ ڈائلاگ با وچ می فرسٹ ڈائلاگ پارٹ بی ان سے وسط میں وائد لک اینڈ لسن اینڈ ریپیٹ خولا السلام علیکم پیس بی اپون یو ختیجہ وعلیکم السلام اینڈ پیس بی اپون یو ٹو خولا اسمی خولا مائی نیم از خولا مسموکی وٹ از یور نیم ختیجہ اسمی ختیجہ مائی نیم از ختیجہ خولا کیف حالوکی وٹ از یور نیم خطیجہ بخیرین والحمدللہ آئی ایم فائن اینڈ تھینکس ٹو اللہ وکیف حالو کی انتی اینڈ ہاو آر یو ٹو خولا بخیرین والحمدللہ آئی ایم فائن اینڈ تھینکس ٹو اللہ آلمٹی سو نوٹ دا ڈیفرنس فار میل وی سیٹ مسموکا اینڈ ٹو فی میل وی آر سینگ مسموکی ٹو میل وی سیٹ کیف حالو کا بٹ ٹو فی میل وی آر سینگ کیف حالو کی ٹو میل وی سیٹ انتا but to female we are saying anti so this is a difference that you need to remember between male and female next we have vocabulary so again just like I told you that if you have book the homework will become easy for you so you will write the meaning of these words here you have learned these on the previous page so you will just write their meaning here then at the dribble level سل بین البارتی و صورت المناسبہ جوائن دا فریز این اپروپریٹ پکچر سو ہیر یو ول جوائن دیم ناؤ ایف یو ہیو بک یو کین ایزیلی جوائن دیم اٹ وانٹ بی این ایشو فار یو بیکاز انیشیل ایکسرسائزز آر ویری ایزی ان دس بک لیٹر آن ایکسرسائزز آر لیٹر ٹریکی لیٹر ڈیفیکل سو یو ول جسٹ جوائن دیم ایف یو ہیو ایف یو ڈونٹ ہیو بک اینڈ ایف یو ہیو اے ٹچ اسکرین لیپ ٹاپ then you can download a very good app from the microsoft store which is known as zudo reader this is the app it if you have a touch screen laptop it will make homework very easy for you this is the app pdf reader view edit and note so if you don't load it the homework will become very easy for you let it open So this is the app that I want you to install on your lap, touch screen laptop. It will make homework. It is also available in Android and iPhone. But if you have a touch screen laptop, it will make homework easy. For example, here you see I will click on this icon. Then I will click on this more pen. And then I can join them. So in this way I can easily do the homework. Then Tadrib Ajib. Tadrib Usani Ajib he is asking you to answer so here you will just write the answer like Assalamu Alaikum Wa Alaikum Musalam 
so you can write answer a here or you can use this touch screen laptop to write the answer so i will do that also first i need to select this option from here this option of text i will select here now i will type the answer okay for how look be khairin walhamdulillah so now my answer will be written here i can drag it like this so in this way you can easily write homework on your touch screen laptop if you have so you will answer these questions next time we'll do the next one so let me come back to the most important thing which is the homework so for the homework you will open google classroom you can also install google classroom on your mobile phone easily just search on internet or google play store or i store you will easily find it so in the google play store okay, after downloading the google classroom you will open google classroom and then you will use this code to you will use this code to join our class so for example i will open it on my laptop so when you will open google classroom you will see something like this so here you see a plus icon click on this plus icon click on join course type the class code no i have done something wrong i need to recopy the code So here I am copying this code I will paste it here then I will click on join so you see now I have joined the class after joining the class you will go to homework number one because this is your first lesson so you will open the homework number one so you will click on view assignment so here you will find some information about the homework whatever you needed so you will do it on your book or on your devices after doing on your book you will make clear pictures and then you will click on this button add or create button then you will click on file button to upload your pictures so for example i just choose any random picture from here let's suppose this is my homework i will upload my picture like this once it is uploaded i will upload the picture pictures of homework after uploading them i will click on mark as done or i will click on submit uh, this button turn in so once i click on turn in my homework will be submitted and the teacher will select uh, check your homework and he will give you some numbers according to it for example these are the grades of previous students who have done this homework So here we receive all the information about the homework we check it and we grade them so here you see many students have done this homework and they have got the numbers so you will also get some numbers once you submit your homework if you still have any doubt you can ask me on my whatsapp you can ask me on the comment section inshallah i will answer them i hope you all enjoyed the lesson see you in the next lesson ma salama